Am I the asshole? For saying I can't attend my sister's child-free wedding? I'll keep it short. My sister, let's say her name's Lisa, is getting married later this year. The wedding is child-free. I'm currently pregnant and at the time of the wedding will have a five-month baby. I asked Lisa if she could come as well, but Lisa said no. I accepted that and told her I won't be able to attend. I don't feel comfortable leaving my young kid with a sitter and my family would be at the wedding. Lisa's pretty pissed off and said I'm trying to act holier than thou and punishing her for having a child-free wedding. She said she wants me to be there and give a speech as the sister of the bride, but I told her I can attend if I can't bring my baby. She replied some of her friends have kids and they know a lot of trusted sitters, and she'll give me the numbers, but I've refused. Mom said she could stay home with the baby while I attend a part of the ceremony, and then she'll come and I'll go home but Lisa wants our parents to be there the whole time. I don't know, I'm just looking out for myself and my kid but I might be being enough. Lisa's upset that I'm not attending. I don't know if this is your first baby but for me. I never would have left my firstborn with anyone for hours at five months. I would be stressed the whole time. My secondborn however I'd leave with a pack of wolves if it meant five minutes to myself. Anyway, not the asshole. From a reply of op. Not the asshole my in-laws live in Canada, they'll be flying over for two months after the baby's born but they of course can't stay until my sister's wedding. My husband passed before I found out I was pregnant. Your sister is being an on honestly I would add this information to your post, you didn't push and the compromise your mother came up with was rejected unless your sister is willingly to conceded she's going to have to accept you won't be attending. Maybe offer to make a video of the speech that she can play during the reception. Not the asshole. Nothing wrong with wanting a child free wedding but don't be pissed off when someone with children can attend. I totally get not wanting to leave bub at home with a sitter, especially when they are that young. Your sister will just have to get over it, she can't expect you to ditch your baby just for her wedding. Not the asshole. Not that your sister is an asshole to have a child-free wedding that's perfectly fine. What makes her an asshole is to insist on a child-free wedding, but also insists that you attend without your baby. She can either accept children, or graciously accept the fact that parents of young children may very well be unable or unwilling to attend. She can't have it both ways. The OP has posted that her late husband died before she found out she was pregnant. So not only will she have an infant, she will be a grieving single mom at a wedding missing her late husband. Her in-laws are a plane ride away and will already have stayed with her for two months so they are not an option. If I were her, I would be clinging to my baby like my life depended on it. Not the asshole your sister has absolutely every right not to have children at her wedding. However, your sister has made that choice while also needing to accept the potential consequences of that choice. Your child comes first and she should know that. Not the asshole. People are allowed to have child-free weddings, they are not allowed to be offended when people don't come. Honest, I would always have chosen my kids. Not the asshole, she's allowed her child-free wedding and you're respecting her wishes. Also you're allowed to not leave your child with a sitter and miss the wedding. Having child-free weddings is a risk of not having some guests attend and she needs to accept that. Not the asshole. Your baby is your top priority and there's no assholery in that. It's a stretch for your sister to say you're punishing her and that makes her the ah. Uh. Your baby isn't even born yet, how are you supposed to know if you can leave it with a sitter when it's 5 months? Not the asshole, I think your sister is asking a bit much. Edit accidentally wrote you're not the A twice. Any child free wedding I've been to has made an expectation for close family or young infants. If she can't compromise, you can't go. It's just that simple. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. It's perfectly okay to have a child-free wedding and it's perfectly okay to politely decline attending one. Can someone please tell me why this happens? Yo I don't want this at my wedding. I have these conditions. Guests I can't attend with these conditions my apologies hope it's a great wedding bride rah you are the worst person. Jump through the hoops. Jump I said. Not the asshole. Not many people are comfortable. Or indeed want to leave a baby that young with a sitter, unless they absolutely have to, and this is not a situation where you absolutely have to. Your sister has to respect that. Not the asshole, it's child free. Your child comes before her wedding. New moms do not want to leave their 5 month old. If sister wants a child free wedding then she has to expect some people won't show or some people will cancel at the last minute when sitter plans fall through. Not the asshole it's not an AH move to organize a child free wedding, 
It's not an AH move to not make any exceptions. It is however a massive AH move to guilt trip someone to attend even though the wedding rules are too much of an inconvenience to them. You sister sounds like a bridezilla. Not the asshole. First, family or not, an invitation is not a summons. Having a child-free wedding is well within your sister's and fiancé's rights. However, your sister is being entitled by get prissy that people may not be able to attend. Even without the comment I saw, I think not the asshole. But you need to add an edit about your husband passing, sorry for your loss and in-laws living in Canada. Not the asshole. It's really simple to be honest Lisa is having a child-free wedding, which is fine. OP accepted that, and didn't push after asking once if she can bring her child. But as a result, she can't come because she'll have a young baby. Time for Lisa to accept that, and not push on after asking once. You're not the asshole. She's within her rights to have a child-free wedding, but she needs to accept that some people won't be able to attend. Though who knows, maybe by the time you will have met someone you can trust to babysit. Not the asshole nah, you're fine. Having a child-free wedding is a valid choice, but it comes along with the knowledge that some guests with young children won't be able to attend. You haven't even given birth yet, so you have no idea what level of care your baby will require. I think it's very sensible to assume you won't be able to attend and let your sister know early. Not the asshole. Your sister is acting like an entitled bride. I'm in my late 50s. When I was young there were always children at weddings. Your sister made her choice to have a child-free wedding so now she will have to deal with the real-life consequences. I wouldn't want to leave a 5-month-old with some rando sitter either. Do what is right for you and your baby. I had a child-free wedding, except for my niece. She's family. Some people complained that she was there and no other kids were allowed. Oh well. Not the asshole. I think your sister could bend the rule for you. Not the asshole. I'm child-free by choice and belong to several online communities. The overwhelming sentiment is, if you can't leave your child at home, don't come. You did everything right and your sister is throwing a tantrum. If she wants you there so badly, she can let you bring the baby. She can't have it both ways. Not the asshole. My wedding was child-free with exceptions for infants. Three babies ranging from eight months to three weeks were there and mostly slept the entire time. Your sister really needs to get over herself. We just read a story here in this sub how someone was angry that their friend brought a newborn baby of three months to a wedding. The bride got all but hurt because the attention was taken away from her and that friend should have known better not to bring a baby to a wedding. Now, we have someone saying hey, it's a child-free wedding. I'm not asking for exceptions. I'm just not going to attend. And the bride is freaking out. Not the asshole. So you have to choose between a 5-month-old child and a 31-year-old one. NGL, that's a tough one. Not the asshole. Good on you for prioritizing your kid over your sister. While it is her choice to have a child-free wedding, you won't be child-free. It's either you go with your kid, or you don't go at all. Your sister can't have you at her wedding if you aren't allowed to bring your kid. She can't have her cake and eat it too. Not the asshole. You didn't fuss over the no children wedding, because you recognize that that's her choice. But you get to decide if you can attend under those circumstances as you'll have a small baby. You've decided you can't. She has to accept that as well. If it was me, though, and logistically I could attend, I would. Can your husband not stay home with his baby while you go to your sister's wedding? Not the asshole. You haven't even given birth yet. There's no realistic way you can commit to something at this point anyway. You've not idea how the birth will go, how you'll feel after, recovery etc. not to be too stark about it. If she really wants you there that much she would allow you to bring your baby and perhaps sit out of the ceremony or something to avoid disruptions if she's that bothered. Not the asshole. Literally all of the people you trust with baby are there. This is what happens when people do child free events then invite all the family and mutual friends. Not the asshole. Even if you weren't talking theoretical I'm not willing to leave my 5 month old baby with a sitter. If you agreed to attend the wedding something could happen later. You might have complications that mean your recovery takes longer. You might end up with separation anxiety and freak out at the thought of leaving your baby. Your trusted babysitter could cancel at the last minute or have an emergency requiring them to leave early. Having a child means plans can change at any time and if your sister wants you at the wedding she needs to acknowledge that. Not the asshole at all. I'm one of the youngest cousins of 13, and although my wedding was not child-free, four of my cousins had babies under one year old and decided not to come. 
Moreover, my husband's brother had one month old baby, so they only came to the church, the same as my local cousins with little ones. We understood it, and we were grateful that those who were local came to the church ceremony. Not the asshole I'd expect to be nursing a five month old infant. No way I'd leave them behind with a stranger. Family member, maybe. Stranger, no. Not the asshole. Decision to have child free wedding is always risk that some important people won't attend. You are not punishing your sister, your priorities changed, as they should, with having baby. And when my firstborn was five month if I had babysitter for a day I've out ditched the wedding for a quiet hotel room and scratch on sleep. Small kids are great but you'll find new level of exhausted. You don't mention a partner or their family if you have one, could they look after the baby? Not the asshole your sister is allowed to have a child free wedding. You're allowed not to go. Not the asshole. Your sister doesn't want kids at her wedding, which is fine. But you aren't comfortable leaving your baby alone with a sitter when the baby will be quite young, and your sister is disrespecting you by demanding you to go in spite of your discomfort. It doesn't matter if others can do it with no issues, you don't feel comfortable doing this, so your family shouldn't guilt you into leaving your baby behind. Just like it is within your sister's right to have a child free wedding, it is within your right to decline the invite. Simple as that. As a child free person, not the asshole. Your sister is entitled to a child free wedding since it's her personal preference, but you're also entitled to spend the time with your baby and not being comfortable in leaving her with a sitter for the day. I'm baffled about these huge displays of stomping on personal decisions you're not telling her to reconsider the whole ceremony and reception, you told her that if those are the conditions you can attend. Again, not the asshole. Not the asshole. If you're going to have a child free wedding then you've got to be prepared for some people to be unable to come. She isn't an offer having the child free wedding, but for pushing you to come even after you said you could.